Will is a retired soldier who is worried about the cost of an operation, his wife is seriously ill and urgently needs treatment, he keeps calling the insurance company to explain the situation, the insurance company's supervisor refuses to pay compensation for various reasons, despite his distinguished service, Will is treated in such a way that he cannot help feeling desperate, but time waits for no one, helpless, he turned to his good friend for a loan, his friend Danny now owns various luxury houses and cars and has many businesses, however, all of Danny's wealth comes from criminal activities such as robbery, which Will knows very well. Danny says he is also short of money and plans to rob the first federal bank in the city center. Once successful, they will get $32 million in cash. As long as Will is willing to help, his wife's medical expenses of over $200,000 will not be a problem. Will eventually decides to join the robbery. Danny has already formulated an action plan and they set off with their equipment. They decided to enter the bank from the underground garage. To ensure that the operation goes smoothly, the driver is responsible for the reception outside. The remaining seven people quickly occupied the entire bank, locking the door and controlling all the hostages. At this point, an unexpected guest arrived. A patrol officer drove a police car to the bank. An officer got out of the car and walked towards them to prevent the operation from being exposed. Danny changed into the bank manager's clothes to open the door. He lied and said that the bank was transferring funds and to come back in 20 minutes. But Officer Zach, the patrol officer, insisted that he urgently needed to carry out a transaction. Danny had to let Officer Zach into the bank. At this point, all the hostages were lying behind the counter and dared not make a sound under the threat of guns. Danny signaled their accomplices to greet the patrol officer, and Officer Zach asked for Kim by name. He asked Danny what Kim's full name was. Danny randomly gave a name. At this point, Officer Zach happily invited Kim to go out with him that night. Unexpectedly, this patrol officer was here to pick up girls. Officer Zach looked at Kim's work badge and found that the name on it did not match the name Danny had given him, so he realized that something was wrong. At this point, the robbers hidden around them had already aimed their guns at him. Officer Zach was controlled by them, and the robbers asked Officer Zach to wave to the patrol officer outside to indicate that everything was normal. After the threat was lifted, several robbers, led by Danny, quickly looted the $32 million in cash. According to the pre-planned plan, the truck responsible for the reception would arrive in five minutes. Danny immediately ordered everyone to retreat, but the truck suddenly broke down at the corner of the bank. At this time, a patrol officer came to inquire about the situation, but he did not suspect anything and even helped to fix the car. The patrol officer saw several suspicious figures carrying backpacks and immediately drew his gun to stop them, but the driver stepped on the accelerator and rammed into him. Their operation was completely exposed. The police ambushed around them immediately took action and launched a firepower blockade on the bank. Seeing this situation, Danny had no choice but to retreat back into the bank. They escaped with Officer Zack from the underground parking lot. The other accomplices did not receive the instructions and went in the wrong direction, and they were engaged in a shootout with the police. Soon the police reinforcements arrived, and the situation for the robbers became more and more severe. The driver was too nervous to see the road clearly and directly hit his own person. He didn't have time to regret it and was ready to leave with the others, but the next second, he was shot by a sniper. As the special police offensive became more and more fierce, the remaining robbers outside the bank were quickly wiped out. Will and Danny also faced a huge challenge. Officer Zack took the opportunity to grab a weapon, and Danny immediately subdued him. Although Will didn't want to hurt anyone, he shot Officer Zack in a hurry to save his brother. Danny and Will prepared to escape together, but as soon as they escaped through the back door, the police car caught up with them, helplessly. They had to return the way they came. Soon, the police rushed into the underground parking lot, and the patrol officer found Officer Zack who was injured. He immediately called for an ambulance on the intercom. At this moment, emergency specialist Cam was nearby and heard the call for help, so she rushed to the scene with her colleagues. Cam gave emergency treatment to Officer Zack's wound. Officer Zack had to undergo surgery immediately, and they got on the ambulance and prepared to return to the hospital. However, before they left the parking lot, they were stopped by Danny, who was holding a gun. He knocked out the driver, let Will change into the nurse's coat, and hid two bags of cash in the trunk, controlling two hostages. When they reached the exit, they were stopped by the police. At this point, Danny threatened Cam, and she pretended that everything was normal. They managed to evade the police inspection. Danny asked Cam to hand over her phone, and she had no choice but to comply. With Danny's permission, Cam began to treat Officer Zack. Will sounded the alarm and accelerated quickly to the parking lot where the backup car was parked. 
A patrol officer in the parking lot found the ambulance and reported to his superiors that the ambulance had been hijacked by the robbers. The police immediately launched a full-scale pursuit operation, even using helicopters for air support. Soon, we'll notice the helicopter in the air. He cautiously parked the car in an alley and believed that they should abandon the car and run away. The backup car was far away from their current location. Danny believed they should continue driving forward. After careful consideration, Will started the car again. At this moment, Cam quietly opened the car door and grabbed a nearby fire extinguisher to spray at the robbers. Cam was eventually caught by Danny. To buy time, Cam stood still until Officer Zack started coughing up blood again. Cam eventually returned to the ambulance and worked tirelessly to save Officer Zack's life. Will started the car and continued driving forward, but they were once again being followed by a helicopter. Meanwhile, Cam was doing everything she could to save Officer Zack's life. Thanks to her tireless efforts, Officer Zack's heartbeat returned to normal, but his condition continued to deteriorate rapidly. Officer Zack needed to be taken to the hospital for treatment, faced with the relentless pursuit of police cars. Will stepped on the gas pedal and drove crazily, but the police had set up a blockade on their route. Despite Will's exceptional driving skills, he could not shake off so many cars. At this point, he suddenly made a sharp turn and turned the car around, looking for a way out. Officer Zack's condition was getting worse, and Cam couldn't handle it alone. To avoid causing any casualties, Danny acted as a helper to assist Cam in saving Officer Zack's life. With the help of a defibrillator, Officer Zack's condition gradually stabilized. At this point, the ambulance was forced into a dead end by the police pursuit. Will suddenly hit the brakes, causing the police car to fly out of control due to its high speed. They temporarily escaped but the helicopter was still hovering above them. To get rid of the tracking, Danny came up with an idea. He called his old friend Poppy for help. He asked Poppy to prepare five identical ambulances to confuse the police. He promised to pay Poppy $8 million as a reward. Poppy immediately agreed. After that, Danny contacted his subordinates and asked them to prepare blue paint and meet him at a designated location. After arranging everything, they no longer hid their tracks. Soon, they attracted a large number of police officers. Will was not afraid at all and, relying on his exceptional driving skills, was able to quickly shake off some of the police cars. In a dimly lit basement, Danny opened the back door and pulled Cam out to threaten the police to evacuate quickly. Officer Zack's friend refused to compromise, and Danny fired warning shots. The gunshots startled the dog in the back seat. After hearing the barking through the radio, the commander recognized that it was his own police dog. To ensure the safety of his beloved pet, he immediately ordered the police to evacuate the scene. At this point, Officer Zack's wound began to bleed heavily, and the only solution was to remove the bullet to stop the bleeding. Cam was just a first aid specialist and had no knowledge of surgery. Danny agreed to let Cam call her doctor friend and guide her through the surgery via remote video. Will had previously served as a lifeguard in the military and volunteered to help Cam in the back. Under the guidance of Cam's friend, everything went smoothly. However, when it came to a critical point, the laptop used for video ran out of battery and the hemostatic forceps were used up. Cam instantly broke down. Will tried to persuade Cam to stay calm. He then used Cam's hairpin to prop open the wound. And with courage, Cam successfully removed the bullet and stopped the bleeding. Officer Zack was saved. During this time, the police intentionally gave them time to rest to ensure that the ambulance could drive smoothly and not affect the surgery. However, with the video interruption, the doctor claimed that Cam could not complete the surgery alone. They believed that Officer Zack would not survive. The police no longer showed mercy and decided to pursue them with full force. At the same time, they sent snipers to ambush on Will's route, ready to kill them completely. In order to protect Cam, the police tried to contact her through Officer Zack's phone. Cam secretly answered the phone when she heard the ringtone and learned of the police's plan. Cam promptly told Will the news, and he narrowly avoided the bullets. However, the following police car was not so lucky. The police car collided with oncoming vehicles, causing a violent explosion. All of this completely enraged Danny. He contacted the police through the radio and warned them that if anything happened to Officer Zack again, he would kill him. At this point, the commander advised Will not to make any more mistakes. Will had never intended to commit robbery, and with the commander's persuasion, he hesitated. In addition, his conscience was constantly being condemned by his wife's phone call. Suddenly, there was a conflict between him and Danny, and the two fought fiercely. Will didn't want his brother to go to jail, so he calmed down and decided to continue. Later, they arrived at a bridge tunnel and rested for a while. But before long, the police helicopter tracked them down. Danny quickly searched for ammunition in the car. 
and will started the car to continue the escape. The helicopter flanked them from both sides. To take down the helicopter, Danny fired at the helicopter's rotor blades. He shot down one helicopter, and Will took the opportunity to drive the ambulance towards the road. Finally, they arrived at the rendezvous point. They painted the ambulance green to blend in. The other prepared ambulances drove in different directions. The helicopter reported the situation to the commander. The commander ordered a thorough investigation and sent people to surround them at the intersection. Poppy was prepared for this. He let his son, Poppy, take the lead. He drove the ambulance carrying the bomb straight into the police camp. At the last moment before arrival, he pressed the detonator. With a loud explosion, the police suffered heavy casualties. Next, the ambush on the bridge remotely controlled a car carrying dummies and machine guns, slowly approaching the police. This time, the threat to the police was greater, as they were unable to get close enough to destroy the machine guns. They were also under constant and frantic gunfire, and by the time the machine gun bullets ran out, the police were almost depleted. On the other side, Will and Danny had already arrived at Poppy's base with hostages. Poppy was no longer satisfied with the three million, only because his son was killed by the police during the retreat. Poppy demanded that Danny leave the two hostages. Will had promised to help Cam escape and refused Poppy's demand. As a result, Poppy directly showed his intention to kill. Danny took the lead and with Will's help, they killed Poppy then broke through the encirclement and drove away from the scene. Before getting into the car, Cam got the gun from Officer Zack's body and accidentally shot Will, causing him to immediately fall into a coma. Not long after, they were locked down by the police again and had nowhere to escape. Danny completely lost his mind and was ready to kill Cam. However, with a gunshot, it was him who fell. Will killed Danny to protect Cam. With Cam's help, Will was timely sent to the hospital for treatment by the police. In the subsequent identification process, Officer Zack stated that Will saved his life. And as a result, Will's sentence was reduced by several years. In addition, before being arrested by the police, Will put several packets of money into Cam's bag and asked her to pass the money to his wife. Finally, his wife was treated, and she and their son waited for Will to return. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.